What's up everybody? Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nick Week and your name is I am Paris. Okay. I'm not I am Paris. My mm. name is Paris, but the name of my YouTube is I, I am, am Paris. Paris. So difficult definitely I am Paris. You know people always write uh we have those people always write A and M or mm -hmm. I am M. So what is yours? I A M underscore Paris. Okay. Yes. So guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and to my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my amazing videos. I'll never take your love and support for granted. I appreciate you all so, so, so much. And uh, if it's your first time stopping by, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channels and uh, uh, join our families and we'll appreciate yep. them. Let me give her time to introduce herself well before we continue. <laughs> How am I supposed to introduce myself? Like in details now. Hey, in details. Okay. What's your name? Mm -hmm. Where you come from? What you do? Mm -hmm. Blah blah blah. Do you have a boyfriend? Hey, <laughs> week, week, you're going too fast. <laughs> Where's boyfriend coming in? <laughs> like in, you're taking the syllabus too fast. In details. That's okay. What I mean. Uh, I think like um I think we'll go in details, but mm. let me just say this like the basic things that people should know. Sure. I think the relationship will be later, not now. So guys, if you want to know, watch the video till the end. So for starters, let's let me start by saying happy new month to you all and happy girlfriends. Did they even tell you happy girlfriends day? Not really. But even you did not tell me. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so today we we were acting like some some boyfriends like some people's boyfriends you know at least for us like we don't care if somebody tells us a uh, girlfriend's day or not oh, we are just doing. Ah, yeah. i just spent the beans oh jeez my mom <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyway happy girlfriend's day to thank me. you and every lady every woman every mom that is watching this video happy girlfriend's day to you and uh, also a happy new month so meet me has told me to introduce myself for starters my name is paris and uh the names that are on my all the certificates that I have is Paris Momo. My name, like, because you know, I tell people like I have two names and they you only have two names. Imagine I have two names. Why? Okay, I'm from a single mom. I'm from oh. a single parent. My mom. Uh, I don't know my father. I've never met him, and I've never like uh, I don't know. Let me not go into the details with that. So I don't know my father. I've never met him. So Paris is my name. Momo is my name. My mom is called Kanini. So like all my everything is, is Paris Momo. And I tell people that I have two names and they feel it so. It so makes so. sense because since you've just mentioned that uh you come from uh as in you a only single. have a mom. Yeah, yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. But they could have given you even like in your job you people don't always have that thing. Maybe you inherit your grandparents' name. Mm. Uh, I think we do, but for me, the person that has inherited my grandmother's name is my cousins. Mm. Like you're the only daughter for your mom. Yeah, I'm the not only the, not only the only daughter for the only kid to my mom. Wow, she must be blessed. Amen. And they always try to work hard to give her the best so life. Should, you are supposed to. Yeah, so that is basically me. I have two names, please. When somebody asks me, Paris, Momo, like Paris is my name. Momo is my name. But they, like, you know, even like some people that they have two names, they tend to th say that like uh, the first name is their name. Mm -hmm. Then the second name is maybe their mom's or their father's. But for me, all the names are mom. It's very small because my mom is called Kanini. My grandfather is called Kisman. Okay. Don't even pick. Just put the phone and fly to me. Mode and on flight mode, yeah, yeah. So, we are sorry, guys. Somebody was trying to call me, yeah. So, like, basically, that is me. I have two names, yeah. So, what else am I supposed to say? Professionally, I've done graphics and design work, I'm a graphic designer, but I don't practice it. It's been, <laughs> it's been long, and I'm like, yo, what am I really? But anyway, I think I'm also in the, I, I think I'm. Um, in the same line, content creation and graphic design. Because I remember when I started doing graphic design, graphic design, uh, my uncle was telling me in future I would love, he would love me to go 
to continue with my studies and to do photography, videography, production. So I think I'm still in the same line, even though I don't practice the graphics. For but, sure, yeah. Yeah, so what else am I supposed to do? I'm a single lady. I'm not married. I don't have a kid. What else am I supposed to say? Hey, I'm spilling a lot of beans. What else am I supposed to say? I'm a born again Christian. I believe in God. If there is anything that I do in this world, whatever I do, I always trust and believe in God. Whatever I might be going through shit right now, but I just sit back and say, this is just a trial. God is just preparing a way for you. So I'm a stronger believer of God. Even though I don't look like it, but I'm a stronger believer in God. Again, I know some of you might come for me in the comment section for this, but I would say it. I'm that person that, um, okay, this is me. You, we don't have to be the same way. Sure, I believe in God, but when it comes to going to church, because right now, most of the churches, you don't know which church to go, which church to trust, and who knows which church. So me personally, I believe in my God. My faith is in God. I don't have to go to church for me like uh, to be able like, to say, like, I talk to God. No. Me, I can just kneel down wherever I am, and I will talk to God. So I don't have to go to church. So maybe in case some of you might think that you have to go to church. That is my own personal opinion. And by the guys, you can tell us. Because you know why I decided this is because nowadays we have so many fake prophets. For sure. You can't know who is real, who is fake. So that is just my take. And as I said, that is my opinion. We will differ. So you can tell us in the comment section. So I think that is good introduction for myself. Or what else have I left? Yeah, you have told us everything now. That's what hey. you wanted. Everything. And uh, by the way, you know, even me, I don't always go to church. Yeah. But I believe in God. Like, I'm a daughter of God. I always tell myself. Yeah, yeah, you know, as in, it's just the same when you wake up, read the Bible, pray to pray, God, yeah, tell Him everything, you know, mm. rather than going to church. And I'm not saying this in a bad way, yeah, and uh, maybe meeting prophets who are not uh, God fearing and stuff, they're just there to waste people's time, yeah. you know, yeah, so like, yeah, like just like the other day, you know, like right now, one thing with the uh, with Kenya, the way Kenya is right now, social media is becoming such a huge space, mm -hmm. and uh, since you don't have employment in Kenya, you'll find that. People on TikTok, tap tap the screen, tap tap the screen. <laughs> so one day I came across this pastor. <laughs> tap tap the screen, guys. And it's 2 a.m. in the morning. Tap tap the screen, guys. Like even yesterday, I was feeling so sorry for another. She's a grandma. I know that grandma. Okay, I was feeling sorry for her. You know, her. I saw another story. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know if it's the daughter in law or her daughter. Mm -hmm. She's the one who always like put yeah. her to be on so that they can put, get something to put on the TV. Yeah, and you don't But yeah. for me, I think in some way that's so tiresome for her. Yeah, it's uh, the fact that she's old, mm. you know, at least maybe someone like me of my age to yeah, tap the screen that, until yeah. that time. It's not bad to mm. go live and stuff. But yeah. at an appropriate time. Appropriate time, yeah, exactly. And also, again, I think, uh, you know, like for us, we might stay up like uh, even till five or six. Sure. And we'll be able to sleep during the day. Mm -hmm. But I believe, I think like, uh, you see, like uh, for her, she's very old. I can call even grandma. She's very old. So you tend to get like these old people. They don't sleep during the day. For sure, they don't. That's true. So you can imagine what time she sleeps. So like she was there, top of the screen, guys. And we, like, I don't know what has taken her there. The economy is really bad. The life is really bad for everybody at the moment. So we were talking about this pastor. So I come across this pastor and I'm like, ah, uh -uh, is this not pastor so and so? Okay, so like the first day, second day, I'm just going through TikTok. The, the other day he's, he's inviting his TikTok family to his church. Remember guys, he's a pastor. He's inviting his TikTok family to the church. And since he has following, people went to the church and... This is the what this was the most I don't know I think you are, you know that story. <laughs> this was the most I don't know to call it embarrassing mm -hmm. or what should I call it even? It was very bad disrespectful. For sure. It's it was the most disrespecting thing to God. Guys, do you know what these people they took to the pastor? At the altar, the Man, church. The, that's hey. so disrespectful to God. Imagine. I don't know, but I hope they said sorry to God because eh? Did you read the videos? I don't pick the things that you're supposed to cook. Yeah. So that's also disrespectful to God. And uh, I don't know. Maybe they said sorry to God. Maybe they went and uh, maybe seek forgiveness. I can't really tell that. So yeah. So Perry is going to, to also to pick something. I think she had sent a writer to go and buy her some things. Yeah. 
as we continue with the videos uh today's video is an amazing video because i don't think i've ever like done a video with fairies before i don't really think so. maybe that like i'm recording a video i come across her in the channel to, to say hi to you guys but today it's only me and her so i think uh it's a special video at the same time i think we're going to have like you know just a girl talk uh, sometimes it's, sometimes it's good for can i say our, my our thought like girls and uh, for it uh, because today's girlfriend's day because um like just having that girl talk talking about ourselves advising uh, one on one another it's something amazing yeah so yeah continue did you finish the story right i, I never told them this story okay so guys this is the story what about. this what these people they'd taken to the church they'd taken uh there is this jelly petroleum jelly that we mostly use but that is what i use for my face to do it's called mm -hmm. arimis they took arimis i don't even know to mention the other thing it's too embarrassing to say should i say just say it okay they took arimis they took condom what else I think there were three things. Mm, I don't know the other thing. I only saw the arimis and the other thing. Yeah, that one. And I was just there, and this pastor is opening this in the church at the As altar. In, wow. And people are clapping. And I'm like, what are you clapping for? At the altar. And this lady goes ahead and says, Eti, you know this, this, whatever, this, oh my God. Let me call it bond. When I say bond, you guys will understand because I feel so bad even mentioning the name, be it that it was at the church. So this lady goes ahead and tells the pastor, you see this condom, let me call it bond. You see this ball, when you're using it, it's for preventing you, like you don't get ladies pregnant there because you're single. Ah, yeah. The remis, she goes ahead and says, the remis is when you feel like the urge, I'm like, geez. I can't even finish the statement. And then, you know, it's not bad sometimes to joke with God. It's not. I understand that people always get money from maybe TikTok lives and stuff. But at some point, it's just good to respect God. Yeah. More so at the altar. Mm -hmm. If you are not ready to go there or if you are going to play at the altar, you better stay at home. Yeah. You better go. go and do your own stuff rather than going to church to like do disrespect things God. like that. Anyway, that was our by the way. Let's continue. Yeah, but guys. anyway, guys, tell us in the comment section what do you think about like uh the fake prophets, the fake pastors that we have nowadays? What is your take on that? But we've not said that all prophets are fake. Mm, we not always all. have people who are God fearing. We have the remains, they yeah. always praise the mm. Lord, you yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. So that's not bad. So another thing, mm -hmm. maybe um we can take around let's say five minutes. Mm -hmm ask uh, ourselves maybe i ask you a question you ask me a question you answer start okay. start start okay. start hey i start are you single yeah hey you don't even take a minute to answer <laughs> <laughs> because i am you know i always say this why i'm always single mm -hmm. i always say this um you know for me i'm still at school yeah, yeah, yeah. so handling like four things at the same time mm -hmm. is really hard for me mm -hmm. school my own like fees, uh, everything like relationship. I can't really handle uh, both of them mm -hmm. at the same time. So maybe when I finish school, mm -hmm. I'll uh, think of giving a relationship a chance. Or maybe when the right time time comes, I always say that when the right time comes, yeah. I will honestly give it a chance. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. I know this. Uh, maybe this question is too personal. Okay. Are you ready? Hey, Mickey, don't scare me. <laughs> <laughs> if you want me to really run, if you want me to really. run. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. Since so. you've mentioned that uh, you have a single mother, have you ever felt like having that father figure in your life oh. and stuff? Maybe having a dad to call each and every day? You know? Yeah. Uh, so. I don't know okay i don't know what it feels like to have a father but i thank god for my uncles they mm. have filled that space oh. my uncles like the one that helped me choose a career the one that when i was in school he was also a teacher so my two uncles have they filled that gap of a father figure so 
I don't I, I've never felt of like the urge to change. Also again with the way like the world is going right now. So my father whenever he thinks rational, he knows he has a daughter somewhere. But he chose to stay away. Okay, my mom has never told me for whatever reasons the best thing to her. And I remember that was one day I asked her and I said, Hey, the stuff that I caught <laughs> But it, she has a right to because yeah, so she has taken care of you. You've never missed something. Exactly. You went to good schools. Yeah. I believe that you have the the best life because you know why I'm saying you have the best life. Mm. Just look at your body. The bam bam. <laughs> hey, make me. <laughs> you can't tell me you, you are no, maybe No, please. These are jeans from my parents. I wish I had some photos of my mom before she yeah. got sick. Oh my god, my mom. Even my aunts. Wait, let me see if I have a photo of my aunt. <laughs> eh, if you see my aunts at my my aunts and my mom when she was small, even like uh, this my cousin. Right, mm. right now at least she's coming. I don't know. Oh, my aunt doesn't have a full size photo. Uh -huh. And this one, she doesn't have a full photo. Can she you see? She just looks like she, she yeah. up here. Like, it's it's the jeans in the family. That is what I can say. Because even this other guy, let's I wish, oh yeah, this one she, she's on Instagram, so I can get her here. You'll see, like it's it's just our family. This is my cousin. Ah, uh -uh, no post. <laughs> you see, she's so beautiful. Yeah, she's pretty. She's in school. I thought she's always asking me for money. High school? No, or she's campus. in campus. Mm. Even you see, mm. she's asking me for money right now. But I just love this girl. <laughs> Even if you're going to speak about, <laughs> you're going to speak about you. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think you are the elder. Elder. Okay, like for her, because mm. also for her, like uh, she's the first daughter. She, uh, right now she has a younger brother mm. that we love so 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 much. So she she was the only kid. She was just like me. So and then we were growing up together. together like so that. you find that bond. Me and her, the things that we have passed. Hey, me. Let me. We have like we have had our own share of good life and our own share of bad life. I so me and her like we have gone through both. So like that's why like, we're very much close like sisters. Yeah. Okay, I get it. But mm -hmm. you know what? Uh your story gives me an out of uh as in like telling you to work even harder. Yeah. For your mom. Of course that is because you know goal. when good things happens to you your mom, as in they also happen to your mom. Yeah. If you win, your mom wins. Of course, yeah. yeah. Always make her happy because I understand like raising a daughter herself is, it's not easy at all. Yeah. yeah. And wherever she is, I'm so proud of her. That's yeah, mama. Yeah. That's Even me, like, I always, I always pray to God to bless me because I want to give her the best. Sure, you will. Yeah. If you work hard, believe in God. <laughs> And show God that you are really working hard for your mom, for yourself, and uh, for your family. He's really going to bless you. Yeah. And uh, everything is going to work out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's my time for your question. So it's been that you, as a, as a lady, and uh, you, are, you are on YouTube, and not only YouTube, you are on social media. Because mm -hmm. I see you on TikTok, I see you on Instagram. I think TikTok, you are very active. Yeah. So, but mostly people know you from YouTube, sure. definitely. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, sometimes you always have these critics. And it's been that, you know, most because even for me, I knew you the time that, uh, I remember you were dating the Virginia, but if you want, you really don't have to say anything about it, it's okay. I knew you the time that you were, the, you were with the Virginia. And, like, I get that it's so much critics out there. Mm -hmm. How do you handle that? For me, like, the time I started YouTube, mm -hmm. that's the only time that maybe those critics when we started those, mm -hmm, uh -huh. uh, they were trying to put me down mm -hmm. but nowadays i only focus mm -hmm. on myself and the good things and the good people the people who love me for others i don't always mind them you talk i don't know you yeah we don't know each other you only see me and your family sure yeah as exactly. in when you watch me on camera that's where you only see me and as long as i know something is not true mm -hmm. or something is it's a lie I never mind them. I always focus on myself, the good things, uh, good people, the people who love me, and yeah. I'm grateful. Because, you know, you'll never lack. Once you put yourself on social media, this is what I was told when I, I was starting my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. 
you you will honestly face mm -hmm. a lot of challenges yeah. for that being the first one mm -hmm. because you'll always face hate whatever what yeah people will always say to you so that's true. you can't expect uh, all of people to love you, the whole people to love you like everybody to love you mm -hmm. you must have people who hate on you that's, that's what you, you're supposed to put on your mind yeah, so true. i'm always focusing on myself mm -hmm. i'll never focus on the bad side yeah that's what is keeping me going that's true that's very important that's that's nice yeah your turn are you single do you so do you sing a ring? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe you are dating and you guys are not in engaged. Okay. I'm not dating anyone. Mm -hmm. I'm single. Yeah. Not Why dating. are you not dating? And mm. as in you are just around. Yeah. So when okay. you have a when you get a boyfriend, mm -hmm. you're going to give him your time because you Let me tell you this men out here. Ooh, men will leave you in desert without water. Okay, the reason why I'm single it's because, as you said for you, like you say you're single because life focus on your studies and stuff. Mm -hmm. And now for me, why I'm single is because I love taking my time. Because if I love somebody, me I'm that person. I will, when I'm in love, I'm stupid. Cause I go in with my all. Your so, all heart. You take your heart and and give it to him. It's here. Exactly. If you want to break it, break it. And now if you break it, you break me. <laughs> so. Yeah, so the reason why I'm single is like uh, I just want to focus on myself right now. And if God brings me somebody that at least will match the energy because we like only in relationship and I look for a lot of things. I look at energy, somebody that will give me peace of mind, mm -hmm. uh somebody that we both we can have a conversation without feeling as if you are the man. Whatever you say, I should say yes to. Like it's like my say doesn't matter. Me not like that kind of such kind of such kind of men so and again right now i just want to focus on my health education journey this is my work and i want to make a good living such a way that i will give my mom a life that she has never had i want to fly her to let me like just place a destination just for her to go and enjoy herself so i can see that is the end result wow that's amazing for your mom to be able to come yeah but uh, maybe you can try like when you are ready, not now. Yeah, when I'm ready, you can not give now. love a chance. Yeah, of course. And uh, yeah, I've been in a relationship, and, and let me tell you, it broke you. Hey, and let let Nini note uh, the other man mm -hmm. make you lack the love from of others. Course, yeah, you know, yeah. we yeah. always have, but it's rare to find someone who is good and have true intentions. Yeah. But you have people like that. So maybe when you are when when the time comes. Let's try and get someone who loves you. Yeah, and, uh, that's true. Who is somebody that is true, and, yeah. someone that has true sure. intentions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, let me ask you again. Wait, are you ready for this? Are you ready for very this? <laughs> Why is it not very? I'm not even saying anything. They should. You know, when up. someone asks me, like, "Are you ready for this?" It's some. Um, it's it sounds like. Imagine it's, it's, really imagine it's 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 just a simple mm -hmm. question. Go, go. But first, before we continue, I'm telling people to subscribe if they have not subscribed. Imagine that somebody Please, guys, that has not subscribed subscribe to Paris mm -hmm. and me. Yeah, yeah. So next question goes. You know, like how when I was watching your video some time back, some people always asking me like, oh, make me what time did you study? Make me what time do you do content? How do you balance that? You said it was not a it was not a hard you question. Are. You made it. I I was <laughs> waiting for a tough question. <laughs> Why are you panicking? It was a hard <laughs> question. <laughs> uh, but anyways, you, you you are at campus, right? Yeah. You always under, understand that um, you don't always go to school like from morning Monday, to evening yeah. or Monday to to Friday. Mm -hmm. You get it? Yeah. So for me, I always as long as you know how to balance your things, you know how to for as in to as in balance studies and content creation. Most of the most of uh. Uh, most question I always get is mm -hmm. how do I, as in when do I study yeah, or yeah. when do I create my videos? Mm -hmm. For me, I always like have time when it's time to for studies. Mm -hmm. I always study, mm -hmm. and when I get I get a chance to create a video, I will do it. Yeah, yeah. because I end up, I I always tell myself that content creation mm -hmm. is one of my career. 
yeah. and I love it. Since I chose myself to be a content creator, yeah. and I always have, I already have people who watch me and uh, will like to always watch me on YouTube and uh, always see my videos. So I can't let them down because of studies. Yeah, I love studies so much. That's what I always put first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when it's time for studies, mm -hmm. I always study. Mm -hmm. When I get a chance, that little chance I get, that little moment I get. I do a video. For me, I don't always have that time to, like, you know, like, before I started uh, a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. I always had that time maybe when we are from class, you go and uh, maybe have stories with your friends, you get it. Yeah. But for me, mm -hmm. rather than going to have stories with my friends or going to have fun with my friends, you I will choose that content. time to yeah. go and create content. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. You see, you're working, you're, you're opening it for nothing. Actually, you made it to, to look it to But the next question, the next question. Who? Okay. <laughs> I don't feel I'm always ready for everything. Okay, uh -huh. yeah. Um who like I know this is an obvious question, mm -hmm. but what can I say? Okay. Uh I remember you had mm -hmm. a channel before. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what happened to you. I don't know, you should just deleted it. Like from nowhere. Yeah. Mm. The first question. Uh, how did you handle uh, it when YouTube deleted your channel and you had worked so hard for it? And uh, another question I wanted to answer, like, what is always keeping you going on YouTube? And yeah. Okay, when the channel was deleted, first, it is the channel that, uh, all I can say, it's the channel that opened the doors that I am right now. Because it is in the same, same channel when it got demonetized. Okay, let me get, let me give you guys a short story. Maybe those, some of you are, you are like, okay, what is she talking about? Mm -hmm. So guys, I used to have a YouTube channel. That was like my second YouTube channel because me, I've always loved content creation. And I remember my first ever channel, my first interview was with Monga Eve. Me and Monga Eve, oh my God. Just looking at that girl and I'm like, yo, girl, I'm so proud of you. Monga Eve, Sue, so we know. Those two. <laughs> the struggles that you're going through in Mombasa. Anyway, so like I used to, my ever first channel before the, the one that was terminated, my first ever channel, it was run by my friend back in Mombasa. And to me, that time I used to work, I didn't know much about content creation, but I was like, it's just something that I love. I loved, like, I loved social media, so it's a book. So uh, I used to have a channel, but it was run by my director. You could, we used to do like these stories, you know, it's, you see the Kenyans do, in case there is mm -hmm. somebody coming, yeah. we go interview, that is what I used to do. Then like, um, even director Trevor, they asked me like, where did you work this time? I'm like, you're in Mombasa, and we always have these stories of uh, the people from the coast, we have the stories of early marriages, we have the stories that the girls should not be taken to school, and I was just telling them like, that is the essence of my channel, but you know, getting these people to tell their stories, it's like you have to give them money or maybe you have to do for them shopping. And that time, me personally, I was struggling. I was still working. And I didn't have time for the channel completely. So the director used to run it and sue. You know, so right? Mm. Like, we used to be together. So to cut the long story short, one day the channel, like I just woke up and the director told me like, oh, the channel has finished. And I was like, okay. I didn't pay so much attention because I didn't know that much. But I just sat back and I told myself like, even me, like, parents, you have to learn more about YouTube because there is no way this is your channel and someone is running it for you. All you have to do is just uh, hold your mic and you, like, you'll run everything. Like, you have to learn about YouTube because I loved social media. I loved content creation. So I opened another channel. So this channel is all that you're asking about. So this channel opened it and I was just then asking myself, now I have a channel. What am I, what am I going to be doing? Then that is the time that my Yuguno came to Mombasa. Because I used to watch them. I used to watch Marwa. Mm. I used to watch D. I used to watch Devi. I used to watch Maja. Nah, so like people from Nyabo Hanzi. Then I came to know about you from Baby Junior now. So like my Yuguno was in Mombasa and I'm like, okay, my Yuguno is here. Me like, I was like, okay. I DM'd my Yuguno on Instagram. Hey, my Yuguno, I can say in Mombasa. Uh, how can we meet for a collab? My Yuguno was like, tomorrow, uh, he's supposed, we were supposed to be leaving Mombasa the following day. It's like, come tomorrow at 8. Mick, Mick. My mother told me to go there at 8, but 7 I was there. Mm. <laughs> I was there with my Yugno. I didn't remember. At this time, I don't know anything about YouTube. So I there, like, uh, I do a video with my Yugno. Then I remember, the same, same time, my Yugno is supposed to be rushing to the SGR. 
and we get in the same car like they drop me on the road as he continues and when we were just it's just like how when you post this video send me the link i post it for you in my community i'm the goddess community it's like when you post make sure you put tags on the goddess tags hey like it showed me everything detail like my you know within a very short time it showed me all those things and now i started so when i started doing the videos so, like i did three videos my you know from 34 subscribers i shifted to 500 subscribers so like you know, and you know that is the thing with youtube algorithm if i start watching this person and these people do the same content youtube will recommend and recommend and recommend other videos so the time i was done posting my you know, video i sat back and i asked myself what else am i supposed to be doing what content will i be putting out there and one day i was just passing on youtube i came across one of these reactors channels and it was during the time that mara was building mama Anne's house and i just checked the video and everybody was like that lady she was against she was like oh the house is small i don't know this and i just I, like me personally I just asked myself you are saying the house is small what have you done can you all show us one thing that you've done for your community this is mara is building this family a house you personally what have you done they have not done anything so i picked my camera mick mick that time i didn't know what is lighting me the way the camera was i wish that channel was that you people could laugh the lighting was really pathetic and not even worth the camera so like i i, I take the camera and say you people whatever blah 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 so, like i got really good nice feedback people were like yeah then they started like recommending me other reactors and stuff like that so i started like doing reaction videos defending mara because me yeah, I'm, i remember that too yeah because i'm a stronger believer of being kind to people sure. and uh, this is somebody that is helping people do what are you doing for people you're not doing anything so, so, so i started doing that I to cut the long story short, it came to a point that I was getting monetized. When getting monetized, uh, I'm a I'm a person that I love Steve Harvey. I love listening to Steve Harvey uh, motivational talks, especially in the morning when I wake up. So I used to watch him, and I was like, okay, why not share this with my YouTube community? So I used to post it on shorts. I could take Steve Harvey's the sh the small mm. small clips and post them on shorts, and uh, people could people could really engage. The feedback was really good. So me like for me, I didn't know. It was a, it was an offense to post other persons content from other social media to yours so that's how my channel got demonetized channel getting demonetized man i felt the same remember i've just got monetized and the time that's just gotten demonetized i'm like oh jesus what next i remember i took a screenshot of that i sent it to arundante arundante because that time we used to talk to arundante then i post it on my community community tab then I slept. Waking up, we had not paid for Wi-Fi because we used to pay Wi-Fi like the old what we used to do. Hey, life. Hey. Waking up, I paid the data for the one for 20 bob, the 20 cents, mm -hmm. the one for one hour. And I was just like, I was just trying to see how my post is doing, those kind of things. Hey, the moment like the data was on, the first message is Frederick Mara sent you a photo. And I was like, who is the like is this a scam is this the real moral that i know or is it somebody else mm -hmm. i'm like yo somebody better be kidding me i did not open instagram i went to youtube because even understand even for you when you wake up the first thing you go is mm -hmm. youtube so i went to my youtube account i was trying to see how all my community post was doing hey the first comment that came was like don't worry my sister when i come back to africa i'm going to open your new channel and teach you youtube for free i was like oh my god Make me trust you me when I was going back to reply to Mara on Instagram now I was literally crying. I was crying, like crying, crying. I get it. Eh. So like uh, I was oh, like, oh my god, thank you so much, Mara. I don't know what blah blah blah. Hey, I take that and post on myself, I post on Instagram, I'm like, oh god. I don't know, like so to cut the long story short. Um, I also sent it to Aaron Dante. I remember that time I used to talk to him ball. I sent mm -hmm. her, oh my god, I was really happy. So when Mara now came, I came like uh, now the new channel that not this one the one that I have. So when I came, now remember like I have another channel and I think the the YouTube like the AI or something it recognizes maybe the faces because that's how mm -hmm. like the channel just got deleted. So one day I just woke up and the channel was no longer there. So like I kind of I kind of felt bad because I was I was planning yeah. I, I was planning on maybe doing like the Kenyan shows and stuff, those kind of things. But I was like okay. Even if it is gone, 
I still have the other one that is already is already kicking. But I would, this is the channel that opened doors for me. But again, I was like, I'm grateful again. I have another one. So it's not like, you know, like if this one is the one that could have gone, it could be bad. But now it's the old one. Yeah. That's, that's so amazing. Yeah. You know, mm. maybe God always, maybe he closes this. And opens. This. Yeah. God and uh, I think your new channel is really doing an amazing. It's right? really doing amazing. And I have the best family. I have mm -hmm. the best like, YouTube mm -hmm. family life. Eh, you guys, I just love you. And that's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, guys, mm, I think for me, questions are over. Okay, let me ask you the last question. What is your ideal type of a man? Mm -hmm. Hey, you know somebody <laughs> <made you? laughs> Okay, for me, uh -huh. you are going to answer the same question. Hey, make me no, it was my question, not, not you. Not really, because you are going to, to end the video. Uh -huh. So I answer, then you answer, then we end. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So for me, uh, good fearing, mm -hmm. mm, hard working, mm -hmm. um, what else? Tall, dark, handsome. Hey, everybody, tall, dark. Who, who will lead of it? Um, yeah, I think that. Okay. okay. More so, God-fearing and hard-working. Yeah. For me, I always love those men who always try to push themselves, like, to work hard. You're really seeing his, his energy. He's, yeah. he's trying to work hard. Yeah. Not like, uh, I think I cannot date someone who just sleeps. Like, it's just that I don't know where to get money. Like, he's just there. Man, I will fall from yeah, heaven. So I can't. Yeah. yeah. And hmm. you? Me, my dad, first of all, somebody that respects me, mm -hmm. uh, somebody that listens to me. And like, I understand you are the head, but also sometimes that's other sure. people. Mm -hmm. Not like you just making a decision and you're like, that is the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody that respects me, somebody that listens to me, somebody that is God fearing. And uh, yeah, and I believe when somebody is God fearing, the rest of the things will fall into place. And sure. So, like, I think God fearing covers everything. Mm -hmm. that i wanted to ask the last one but anyway hey, it's like that question was a difficult one thank god <laughs> <laughs> it just disappeared yeah but anyway thank mm -hmm. you guys for watching if you have watched this video to this part we really appreciate you so 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 much and yeah. we love you from the bottom of our hearts so yeah. kindly consider subscribing to i am fearless mm -hmm. youtube channel yeah. uh she has left with i think for 60 to get to 10,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's go support her. Like, if you are watching her for the first time, I understand that I have people who watch, are watching her for the first time, or you are watching her and you haven't subscribe, mm -hmm. subscribed to her YouTube channel yet. Yeah. So let's go subscribe to her channel. And, uh, you know, like, let's just uh, make her hit that 10K subscribers. So, you know, when somebody gets to 10,000, it's mm -hmm. a milestone. Just yeah, it's feel a happy for yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, you'll never get tired of subscribers. Like, you, when you get to 10,000, you, you keep on like, saying, I want I 15, know. I want 20k. Yeah, yeah, but once you get to 10k, mm -hmm. like, literally, now you're a, a big YouTuber. Hey, yeah. So, guys, kindly go and check her out, and I would really appreciate. Yes. And for those who are watching and haven't subscribed to my channel yet, kindly consider subscribing to my channel, and I will really appreciate and thank you all for watching you can uh, feel free to tell us in the comment section or ask any questions and tell us what you think about this video and we will appreciate and for now let's say bye bye, bye. bye.